Well, today, another day in the garage and more maintenance work on my 2011 F-150. I think today, well, I don't think, we, I know today we're, we're gonna be working on the brakes, mainly the front. Uh, we're gonna change pads and, and a sticky uh, driver's side caliper. So let's get started. torqued these to 115 foot-pounds yesterday. Let's see if this thing can take it off. Okay. Take these off. Take that brake line off. The caliper's coming off. I have to pinch this line. I had all this off yesterday, so it should come off pretty easy. And also the brackets coming too. When you buy a caliper, make sure you get the bracket with it, so the so uh, the sliders can slide. Okay, that's pretty loose. Let me just... I'm just gonna spread the... Push the caliper back so I can get the caliper off. So I'm going between the caliper frame and the rotor. And I'm just trying to create a little bit of space. Just so there's no pressure on the brake pads itself. It should come off easier. Yeah. There's quite a bit of fluid in there. Okay. It should slide off now. It should. Oh, there we go. Okay, pads come off. Again, these are only coming off easy because yesterday had all this apart. And I kind of suspected that the caliper was being was seizing. So, uh, but I try to loosen it up, loosen them up. But when you put on the brakes and you let go of the brakes, there's quite a bit of drag on the wheel still. So uh, change them out. So okay, now the, these big ones here. I think they're 13 sixteenths. I'm sure these are metric, but 13 sixteenths is pretty close. And I don't have a wrench. That's that big and metric
Okay. What the hell? Is there a hole in the thing? So much for that. Freaking oil all over the floor. All this grease you see here was what I put on here for uh, quite a while ago, probably a year or two ago, or three. It's just, just so the rim won't stick to the, the aluminum rim, just so that the aluminum rim doesn't stick to the rotor. There it is. So I'm gonna replace this, the rotor, the calipers, driver's side caliper, and the brake pads. On to the next side. Because the new pads that are coming in here are much thicker than these ones. That's the uh, old pad. The new pad will be much thicker than that. These pistons have to go in, like downwards. So what I'm going to use is, because these are dual pistons, if you press down on only one, this one would come out. Vice versa, so we have to push down both of them at the same time. Try to get as close to the center as you can. Now, if your brake fluid reservoir was full and you did this, it would be leaking out through the brake reservoir. So you might want to empty some of it out somehow. I probably should have checked mine, but it should be okay because I'm not pushing in the other side. And I, I tried it. I tried to do this on the other on the other caliper yesterday, and it wouldn't go. It's very it was very very tight. That's why I'm changing the, the caliper on that side. There. All right. I have to go pick up some new parts. Ugh. Pretty bad, pretty rusty. Well, got some parts. Caliper. Some pads. Just some cheapos. No hardware. Brake rotors. There we go. That's all right. Might get a little coat of fluid film on there and a little coat on the inside. Same thing on this side. I make sure there's no grease on the braking surface. Not much. Just 
little bit. Make sure you torque it to manufacturer's spec. where the anti-rattle clips sit just to prevent rust. Falls right in. Like that. Beautiful. Now, oh, this big guy. Go on here. To know for sure you have the right one, the bleed screw always has to be at the top, not at the bottom, or else you'll never bleed these brakes. So the little tip there, and there's two copper washers, and one goes on the inside, and one goes on the outside banjo bolt that's one with the hole in it slide it in there and screw it in and torque it to spec click um Now I'll just, what they call gravity bleed. I'll just crack open the bleed screw. So, until something's out. Well, something really odd was happening with these brakes. And I, uh, as I was bleeding the brakes, when I, when I pressed the brakes and let go of the brakes, this caliper wouldn't release. And the funny thing is, is uh, it's all, everything's brand new. Brand new caliper, brand new bracket, rotor. You know, nothing's, nothing's binding, but yet the bracket, Caliper wouldn't release. So what I did was crack the bleed screw, then a little bit of fluid would shoot out of it, and then it would release. So it had to be something to do with the hose. Maybe I damaged it when I was when I pinched it off, I might have damaged the hose that wasn't releasing the pressure. So 
I got a new one. I'm going to install that and we'll see what happens. You don't want to cross thread this. Okay. Get our air hose, blow everything off. There's a tie wire right here holding this. Here's the old one. All right. really really hard on the brakes Let's see what happens oh yeah it wouldn't do that before it would just stay still okay make sure there's no leaks yeah I'll go out and check everything make sure there's no leaks I'm gonna hose this whole area down with some fluid film making sure I don't get nothing on the rip brake rotor and we're gonna call it a day uh, well, thanks guys. There's a little, just a little thing. Keep and make make sure you don't the brake hose. Make sure the brake hose is in good shape. If you're finding your calipers are being seat are seizing up on you, press on the brake. Then quickly let go. Well, have an assistant press on the brake, let go of the brake, and then crack the bleed screw. See if, if any pressure comes up out. And more than likely you have a problem with the hose. So that's it guys. A little tip there for the next guy. Thanks for watching.